Good evening. I'm Peggy Scout Laborde, and welcome to Stepping Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Diane Lyons, founder of Festigals, which kicks off next Thursday, a long weekend of activities geared towards women. Welcome, Diane. Thank Good you, to Peggy. see you again. Hello. <laughs> Great to see you. And speaking of women, Poppy Tucker, host <laughs> of the WWNO radio program, Louisiana Eats. Good to see you, Miss Poppy, as always. I'd love to see you. And he's back. He was with us last year. Frank Maselli, chairman of the American Italian Cultural Center, here to discuss his baby, the upcoming concert concerto a piazza in the Piazza d'Italia next Friday. Good to see you. <laughs> Exactly. And you know, we're also we're talking to the honorary consul of Italy now here too. So hey. hey. Mm -hmm. And of course, theater critic Alan Mason, editor of the Crescent City Jewish News, and of course covering theater for us. Thank now, you very much. Puppy. <laughs> well, there's lots of food news going on as usual. And yay, everybody is always so happy when the Creole tomatoes first show up at market. And this year, for the second time, the French Market is hosting a Summer Harvest Gala, specifically to celebrate the opening of the Creole tomato season and to benefit their ongoing efforts to regrow those food markets. They're, they're running two food markets a week full on down there and the Crescent City Farmers Market's down there one day a week too. So the food is back at the French Market. This is going to be a fantastic event next Wednesday, June 10th. It's the ultimate Southern foodie experience with Justin Devilliers of La Petite Grocery and his new restaurant, Balise. And he's leading a big team of chefs that include Slade Rushing from Brennan's, uh, Vishwash Bot from Oxford, Mississippi, from City Grocery Restaurant Group, Rebecca Wilcombe, who's from Mobar, or, or uh, Herb Saint, and Kristen Essek, who is from Mobar now. And there's going to be a cocktail reception first with past hors d'oeuvres and cocktails from Cane and Table, and then a sit-down dinner under the beautiful French Market Pavilion with music by the Creole String Beans. It's going to be a really lovely evening, and tickets are just $150 a person, and it goes to such a good cause. Then, speaking of good causes, you know, it was tragic that Dominique Maquet lost his long, long, long time collaborator, Quan Tron. Mm -hmm. Quan was a mm -hmm. young man. He died of stomach cancer recently after a long fight. And so on Monday, June 15th, at Dominique's new restaurant, Savour, on Magazine Street, he's hosting a benefit for Quan's family. Quan's got several small children. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a mm -hmm. long, long haul. Mm -hmm. And it's really mm -hmm. a tremendous loss. And what a good guy that Dominique is to always be doing generous things like that. Then. Let's talk about some happy fun. And there's happy fun in June at Grand Isle, at Grand Isle Restaurant. That they're having a summer seafood series this year. And on Wednesday nights, they're doing something fabulous outdoors every, every Wednesday. First, the Grand Isle Grand Grill Out. Uh, it's going to be grilled octopus, char-grilled oysters, whole grilled redfish. That is on June 10th. The price is vary between $15 and $28. On the following Wednesday, they're doing uh, the Holy City Fish Fry on Lafayette <laughs> Street Patio. Okay. And it's all you can eat, fried shark, sheep's head, mm. hush puppies, and a beer. You get one free beer, that's $25 a person. The last Wednesday in June, it's the crab and shrimp boil on the Lafayette Street patio, and you're gonna get two pounds of shrimp or crabs or a combo of both with all the fixings and a beer, and uh, that's $35 a person. That's still a deal. It's a yes. great deal. It's going to be really great fun. And then a little bit more big food news. Anybody mm -hmm. who's a Top Chef fan is familiar with Nina Compton, who was a runner-up recently on Top Chef, and she has just opened her first restaurant. It's called Compare Le Pain. Mm -hmm. It's at the new old number, it's funny, new old, number 77 Hotel and Chandlery, which is right on Chapatou. Street. Now she's from St. Lucia. She named the restaurant for a trickster rabbit that comes from a Caribbean folklore. And her delicious tricks with food include snapper crudo, 
conch croquettes with pickled Ooh, pineapple, good tartar idea. sauce. Ooh. Yum. Where do you get conch in this city? Really? Roasted <laughs> jerk, corn on the cob with lime and aioli, cold smoked tuna tartare mm. with avocado and Freshly crisply crispy <laughs> crispy fried banana chips, <laughs> and this is a great place for snacking and bar dining because Ricky Gomez, famous from Cure, he is the bar chef along with Abigail Gullo, who we all love, recently from Sobu. So go hang out with those fun, fun folks at the so bar. Much fun. Her dad was the prime minister of Saint, uh, Saint Lucia, so she's really she's really background. something. Yeah. yeah, she really is. Yeah. Thank you so much. And turning to Diane, and now we're approaching fifth year of Festigals. Fifth Festi year of Festigals, and this year's theme is ordinary women, extraordinary journeys. Peggy, and you and Poppy are going to be our guests. And we're it's all be looking forward very to very exciting because yes. we all have great journeys from the time mm -hmm. we are twenty on, and that's what we're focusing on this year. We have a wonderful day of empowerment with great speakers such as you and Karen Berg, who's going to talk about self-sabotage, which I think many women have <laughs> Quite done. Quite that topic, um, yes. We yes, and then, of course, we have um, the Women of the Storm with Ann Milling and Denise Thornton and LaToya Cantrell. Ten years later, what a difference they made in our community and their power story. So uh, you're at the JW Marriott this year, mm -hmm. and so that Friday is this empowerment day where you can go to different lectures. That's correct. And, and it's 24 price events. Ranges. 24 yeah. events through the whole weekend, and you can pick and choose just one or come for the whole weekend, an hour a day or the weekend. That's what we like to say. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, Karen Berg, who actually we're going to have on the next, next week, she's a cabaret singer, but she's also a motivational speaker. So an that'll amazing be woman. We also have a wonderful woman coming from New York, uh, Melanie, um, Melanie, what's the, <laughs> I just lost her name. Melanie's coming. Yes, okay. Melanie, okay. Melanie, Melanie Young. Young. Coming. She used to run the James Beard Awards, <laughs> oh, and now wow. she's recreated okay. herself, and her book okay. is, I mean, is all about being fearless and fabulous. All right. So well, speaking <laughs> of fabulous, Joanne, and Clevenger and Poppy Tooker, yes, will be talking about what they learned in the restaurant business, the ups and downs. I can't wait to hear and it. And lots of wisdom there, Miss Poppy, oh, right? Oh, have a big time. <laughs> we have a sip and shop yes. on Friday night with craft cocktails. We have a culinary journey uh, to So Fab. And Saturday, of course, we have uh, Auctioner Baptist is talking about our girls. Well, tell us about Miss Irma, Miss <laughs> Irma Thomas. Oh, Irma's going to tell her story. And I, if you've never heard her story before, it's so powerful. They, it's a um, great one photo. of her stories mm -hmm. is that she got fired from her first job for singing in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> she's at the Copper Kettle. Yes, yes. I love, love it. That. And then she's going to be, you know, we like to celebrate a grand diva legend of New Orleans, so she will be in our Stiletto Stroll Saturday night riding in the convertible, <laughs> as we've had many greats do. And um, she, Irma will be waving to the crowd, so we want everyone to come out. This year, our Stiletto Stroll is on historic Canal Street. And it's not stilettos, if you don't know that. It's flip-flops and umbrellas and a <laughs> few second lines. Right. Now, festagals.org, and they're all different price ranges for what, if you want to go to the, the um, luncheons and the different Lunch activities. Lunch on Sunday so with um, very uh, Vatican Loki and Cabaret and yeah. just one event That's after fun. another. 24 okay. events and it's all about women, so come on down. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, because I know you're, it's, you're the mama oh. on all this. <laughs> yes, I am. Just <laughs> like hot mama. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. And now it's time for our weekly artist spotlight. Tonight we are featuring two works by Louisiana artist Bill Isles. This one, look how pretty that is. That's titled Palmetto Cove originally from the rural town Dry Creek, Louisiana. Isles began painting his surrounding landscapes in high school, and most of his paintings, such as this one titled Indian Mound, mm -hmm. the viewer takes the vantage point of a hiker in the woods, peering into the depths of the Louisiana forest. His exhibit, New Landscapes, opens tomorrow evening with a reception at Cole Pratt Gallery, that's right there on Magazine Street, and of course, that is from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. You can visit their website to see more. And before we hear from Frank Maselli, who's going to tell us all about opera and the piazza next week, let's hear, though, from featured singer Cameron Lopriori, accompanied by Carol Rausch with Puccini's Sole Amore. <laughs> I toy vet me. Amor pian pian, but I let her go. Friends, 
Another great singer who will be performing next week. But first, let's talk to Frank. Frank, this is so speaking of babies. This is your baby, and you <laughs> experienced uh, an opera in a piazza uh, when you were on a trip. Right. About three years ago, I was in Rome at, at the famous Piazza Navona on a Saturday night. And on one end of the piazza, which is a great big piazza, they had a stage and they had male and female opera singers and a big crowd. And I said, man, this would be perfect at the Piazza d'Italia in New Orleans. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, uh, another of one of your babies, and, and of course, your, your dad, who was such a wonderful man, Joe Maselli, is the American Italian Cultural Center, which right. is adjacent to the piazza, That's isn't it? That's correct, yeah. Our cultural center, our mission is to celebrate and honor the American Italian culture. And you've got exhibits in there. Now, the library has been moved to Jefferson Parish Library right. System. Thanks to John Young, we exhibits. moved the library. Uh -huh. Now we have more room to do more events mm -hmm. at the yeah. uh, at our uh, at our cultural well, center. Well, I'm really excited because uh, t to me that uh, uh, the piazza has been sort of underutilized over the years, and it's a Charles Moore architect mm -hmm. award-winning piazza. Mm -hmm. If you were a bird, you'd know that it's shaped like the boot of Italy when the water like the whole coming down. Italy, yeah. The whole yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the whole, whole country, country rather. Really, yeah. um, what yeah. are your thoughts about what would you like to see there? Well. Um, you know, the Piazza is actually the entire block except for the Lowe's Hotel in our building. So uh, it was my dad and all of his colleagues, their dream uh, to build a great monument to the Italian Americans of Louisiana. And so the fountain is just the center focal point of it. So now we're going to build, or someone's going to build around it something that will complement and work with the fountain. And, uh, and as I was saying the other day, a lot, in, a, in a lot of Italian cities, you'll walk up and you'll see big arches. You'll be walking down the street, you'll see an arch. When you go through the arch, bingo, you come into a big piazza with a fountain or with a church or whatever. So mm -hmm. I think we could do something really nice, commercial, apartments up or yeah, hotel. Yeah, uh, you have to have nice like coffee quality. shops. And now you've got more oh, of yeah. a, a base of people living downtown, too. So maybe now you've oh, got that. Yeah, yeah, but do. the city's taking proposals. We should say they're in the process of taking That's proposals correct. for development of that. But having also that hotel there mm -hmm. as well. But I think some people in New Orleans who are from New Orleans have never walked through the piazza. So now's the time for next Friday, right? Right. Yeah. Next Friday night's our second annual Opera in the Piazza. <laughs> and uh, and when this is in conjunction with the New Orleans Opera Association, Todd Simmons, a good friend of mine, he's the executive director of the opera. So he he you know he'll be playing along with several violinists and cello and and then we have four great singers mm -hmm. in addition to these two young singers who you're gonna see tonight. Yeah. Cameron Lo Priori and Haley Whitney. And uh, this is kind of neat. I have a real estate office in an apartment complex, and they live right next door. So I listen to them <laughs> practicing every night. And they're at Loyola, and Cameron's yeah. a graduate. So That's right. She's an she's undergraduate, undergraduate. He's a graduate. Right. They're great. So they'll be performing the first set, uh, and then Todd and his group will come on for the second okay. two sets. It's well, great. Well, speaking of her, we've been teasing this. And now, yeah. though, let's hear from another featured singer performing in the Piazza next Friday. And we're talking about Haley Whitney. And she'll be singing Bellini's Monrendi contento for us. <laughs> Oh, 
next Friday evening. That's from 7 to 10 p.m. Go to the American Italian Cultural Center website for details. New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Kevin Owens named two of City Park's historic oaks, McDonough, Dueling, Suicide, Anseman, to name a few. Now, tonight's question. One thoroughfare is on the West Bank. The other is in City Park. Each is named after a World War II allied leader. What are they? Email your answers to steppingout at wys.org. Our prizes, a year subscription to Louisiana Life magazine. A gift certificate for two, courtesy of Vianne's Tea House in Old Mandeville, offering their culinary and gourmet tea experience. And tonight we have an apron. It's worn by staffer Steve <laughs> Gombieski with the message, Zin, Searly Yours, <laughs> from your friends and our friends at wearablevegetables.com. You can visit wys.org. Dot org for our online calendar to see our lineup events. And you can also link to our WYS YouTube channel to view our program on our homepage. And now to Alan. And Alan, I saw Merrily We Roll Along last night. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Last weekend for it, huh? Yeah, it is, it is. But I have so to good. talk about a bigger theater picture right now <laughs> because for Broadway enthusiasts and theater buffs, this is Tony's Weekend, which is essentially the Super Bowl for Broadway. The only deflate gate that we'll have here will be in the boy dreams of those those who are nominees who don't win. Just a quick note also about a New Orleans connection. Last week we mentioned several, but we would like to add another Tony connection, and that is the Tony Awards are going to also be uh, uh, dealing with Airline Highway. Lisa D'Amour's younger baby brother, if you will, Todd D'Amour, who you may remember from Venus and Fur, he actually joined the cast of Airline Highway this past week, so oh. we want to wish him well too. Yeah. So let's get on to the local stages. At the Maroney Theater, we have Kate Bailey's seminal work, which is Strays. Now, Strays is a story about friendship and loss and uses the convention of a bar as the setting for this cast of seven. Most of the seven are friends or they are bar workers. We learn of the connections between the characters by various flashback scenes in which the relationships are more thoroughly explained. And the main characters are Alice and Chris, and they're played by Ashley Rose Bailey and Chris Maroy. Their emotional roller coaster of dealing with the loss and drinking through their feelings at the heart of this particular play. Other noted cast members are Monica Harris, who plays three different characters, John Broder, Natalie Jones, Duncan Becker, and newcomer Eli Tim, who's also very good. The set, which is set again in a bar, works very well at the New Maroney Theater. And again, uh, those of you who may have seen the uh, feature, they did a feature on Ryan and Jim Fitzmaurice, who are bringing it back. Again, Jen Davis is the director and playwright, uh, Kate Bailey. This is her first work that she's doing with Generate Inc. Very high marks here. Again, this is three playwrights who are together in Generate Inc. And the other two playwrights will have works this year later on. Strays plays at the Maroney Theater through June 14th. Now, a few years ago, another play called Blackbird uh, dealt with drug usage. And there's another new play, if you will, for us here uh, called Blackbird, but it deals with another thorny issue, and that is, of course, uh, that of sexual abuse, in particular pedophilia. Uh, Blackbird stars Ashton Ackridge and John Neisler as the now adult victim who confronts her attacker. It's directed by Megan Shea. The work has some very good acting within it, although I did find the writing a bit too unrealistic at times, especially from the motivation of Una, who was the 
at one time, 12-year-old girl who was taken advantage of. And as a man trying to hide from his past, Ray, played by John Eisler, is now known as Peter, and he's confronted with his demons, ashamed and trying to find a new life. Uh, I found this a bit too neatly packaged in the writing. Child sexual produce, uh, abuse can, of course, produce a lot of victims who act out in inappropriate ways, and part of the plays deals with that as well. But in confronting her abuser, the questions asked, of course, is now the former victim herself taking advantage of the man who took advantage of her? Blackbird appears at the Old Marquet Theater through June the 20th. And while we're talking about the Old Marquet, the former shadow box, if you will, now known as the Old Marquet, they're going to have their curtain raiser, as they're calling it. It's it's a gala intended to raise money for a real curtain at the theater, <laughs> as well as to announce for the first time their upcoming season. They've never done this before, so that's going to be on Saturday, June the 13th, at the Old New Orleans Rum Distillery on Frenchman Street. If you can make it over there, I'm sure they would love to have some people in the audience there to help uh, them and their announcement. Meanwhile, I can't think of a play that I'm looking more forward to seeing than that of Lisa de Amour's Detroit. This uh, is going to be opening officially this uh, weekend at the Ashe Powerhouse Theater. If you recall the old John Belushi film Neighbors, it's a bit like that. It's a very gritty and relevant play of two couples who are neighbors, and they uh, essentially are failing to live the American dream. It's set against the backdrop of a failed economy for our millennial generation. The play, which, by the way, won an Obie Award for off-Broadway performances for Best New American Play, was also a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. It does have its moments of dark comedy, but it should be terrific. I'm looking forward to seeing this again. That's going to play through June the 20th. And also opening this weekend and playing with matinees on Saturdays and Sundays is Brother from the Bottom. This is a play that was actually playing at the Billy Holiday Theater in Brooklyn. Mm. It's coming straight from Brooklyn to New Orleans. It's written by New Orleanian Jackie Alexander. The play stars Tony Award winner Wendell Pierce Whoa. and Wendell Franklin as two brothers and who are Anoka dealing with alone. recovery. Uh, uh, Wendell Pierce, Noka alone. Uh, of, of course, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and again, it deals with the two brothers who come uh, together dealing with the fallout, if you will, the recovery effort from Hurricane Katrina and the associated flooding. Uh, Wendell uh, Pierce, of course, is coming in and, and, and he's confronting his brother, one, of course, who has stayed here, one who has left. And now they're dealing with the problems of gentrification, trying to uh, okay. you know, rebuild it. So hopefully uh, that'll be a, a, a great effort. Right, uh, we're now. looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Now, though, it's time for our picks. Diane, a quick pick. Oh, festigals.org. It's a weekend <laughs> just for women. <laughs> and it's an entire inspiring, connecting, networking, craft cocktails, and lots of fun. Okay, Poppy. What else? Chocolate Sunday. This yes. Sunday at Lakefront Airport. Ah, that's going to be so much fun. Benefits W-Y-E-S. Absolutely. W -Y -E -S. Great. Hey, Frank. if you want to celebrate the Italian culture, come to the AmericanItalianCulturalCenter.com website and, and participate in some of our of our events. Okay, great. We have some Chianti. Karen Berg Arlington, <laughs> yes. who is actually going to be on stage at Mid City Theater on Saturday, June the 13th. I know she's part of the Festa Gals, but she's a great cabaret singer mm -hmm. in her own right and want to remind everybody to get tickets now. And she'll be with us next week. Yes, performing, she will. So I'm excited <laughs> about that. Now, though, my picks, the historic New Orleans collection will be presenting a book release signing reception for Robert S. Brantley and Victor McGee in celebration of their brand new publication, Henry Howard. Louisiana's Architect. That's next Tuesday evening at the Historic New Orleans Collection's 533 Royal Street location. The photographs are by Brantley and his late wife, Jan White Brantley. Visit hnoc.org for more information on that. Also next Tuesday, the Hubble Library Author Night presents John Taylor and his book, Wings Over New Orleans, Unseen Photos of Paul and Linda McCartney, 1975. That takes place at 6.30 p.m. at the Hubble Library. That's in Algiers Point. And and now we leave you with Haley Whitney and Cameron Lopriari, accompanied by Carol Rush, with a duet by Donizetti called Toranami Adir K. Nami from his opera, Don Pasquale. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.
Thank you.